Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Interclimate where we bring you with videos on profitable business ideas and environment friendly business solutions. My name is Shalin Verma and in this video we will understand the CPCB guidelines on starting and managing poultry farms and the legal formalities that one must fulfill while starting a poultry business. As per the NGT's 2020 order, all state pollution control boards were required to implement the CPCB guidelines for the poultry farms management in their respective states. Under these guidelines, small and medium sized poultry farms were categorized under the green category of industries and large size farms were kept under the orange category. This sector also needed a standardized SOP to ensure affordable meat and egg supply that was free from any contaminants, biological or otherwise. As a result, poultry farms management today are required to adhere to the CPCB guidelines for waste management in their farms. So let's understand the waste management guidelines. The first waste management issue was related to solid waste management that consists of poultry droppings, manure and litter dead birds and hatchery waste like spoiled or unhatched eggs and feathers etc. These wastes are the source of harmful gases and pathogens. Also, this could attract germs, parasites and rodents that can lead to an unhygienic environment. The next issue was related to air emission from farms. The emissions of obnoxious gases like ammonia and hydrogen sulphide occurs from birds excreta. If accumulated waste are not cleaned regularly, then these can decompose by bacteria and produce toxins and foul smelling gases. And the last issue was effluent discharge. Wastewater that accumulated from overflowing of water used for cleaning and the leftover water used for drinking by birds can become a source of breeding of flies, mosquitoes, houseflies, etc. Now, how does the CPCB guidelines ensure that these issues are addressed? Let's understand. In its 2020 order, the NGT directed the CPCB to review the rules on the size criteria. All poultry farms handling more than 5,000 birds were subjected to the same environmental regulations from January 1, 2023. Poultry farms were now categorized based on the number of birds it handled as per the CPCB guidelines. These guidelines are as follow. The first is the guidelines for minimizing the odor and gaseous pollution. Dead bird carcasses must be regularly gathered properly disposed of so that there is no effect on the environment. The next is storage facility to collect the manure and litter. Avoiding contact of manure with runoff water, keeping it dry and maintaining proper airflow while collecting the manure is required. Next, the guidelines on preventing dust generated from feed mills. Feed mills and go-downs must be built on precise level terrain and must be separate from chicken coops. The floors should be made of concrete and raised at least 2 feet of the ground. Systems for dust collection must be installed and the use of dust mask in mixing and grinding areas to reduce the exposure to the workers. Now coming to the guidelines on handling of manure, hatchery debris and dead birds. The area of manure collection must have adequate ventilation above the manure pits to minimize the humidity, stop the generation of gases and dissipate the heat. The storage pit used to collect manures needs to be shielded from runoff water. Therefore, it must be sealed to stop the stench. Similarly, the dry manure dump should have a permanent roof over it or must be covered with plastic or another similar material. Excreta must be removed from deep litter houses at least once every two days to mix the litter and keep the bedding dry. The base of the litter or manure pit must also be constructed of impermeable compacted clay, stone or concrete slabs. Dead poultry resulting from routine farms operation should be quickly removed from the live poultry and stored in closed containers before being disposed of within 24 hours. Now the guidelines for manure composting. Trash must be mixed with carbon rich material like paddy straw in the pits. While using a specific process, pure manure can also be composted. Depending on the size of the poultry, a composting facility must be developed and the manure must be occasionally mixed to ensure a moisture content of 35% to 40%. Along with this, temperature and ventilation must also be examined in order to assess the composting conditions. The facility must be at least 300 meters away from closest house and at least 100 meters away from any well or water source. Its foundation should be built using concrete, impermeable clay or stone slabs. 
Now, if someone wants to set up a poultry farm, they will need some licenses and approvals as well. So, for setting up a poultry farm, one will need the company's registration, MSME registration, pollution NOC from the concerned SPCP, NOC from the local village of the Panchayat, CGWA NOC in case of abstraction of groundwater, PAN card and Aadhaar card, fire NOC, and business licenses and permits as per the state laws. Today, poultry farming has developed into a highly profitable business that does not require any significant investment. Poultry farming is the most rewarding animal husbandry business since it allows for the use of wide range of feedstock, has a demand from both rural and urban market, does not create significant pollution and can be done even with limited experience in the field. Therefore, an entrepreneur should take the advantage of this highly rewarding business. However, starting a farm will require fulfilling all the legal obligations as well. This is where our diverse team of experts can assist you. Call our Interclimate experts today for any business related query and experience the hassle-free assistance in your business setup process. Do remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.